Two Big Island companies have joined forces to become the first in the state to receive approval from the Federal Avi Aviation Administration for commercial drone flight. Levanui LLC, in conjunction with Enna Media Hawaii, received its FAA approval last month, a process that all commercial drone operators must now follow. But when does a drone flight become a commercial venture? KITV First Andrew Pereira is here now to explain. Andrew. Well, Yunji and Kenny, the FAA decides on a case by case basis whether a drone is flying commercially. The drone revolution is upon us. From spectacular surf at the Bonsai Pipeline to a bird's eye view of humpback whales, nearly everything imaginable has been captured by a drone. Well, you know, I think we all dream. You know, we have that flying dream. And if there's something really compelling about being in the air, you know, because we're on the ground most of the time. In February, the Federal Aviation Administration unveiled new rules for individuals and companies who operate drones commercially. Operators must receive what's known as a Section 333 exemption. Levanui LLC, in an exclusive partnership with Enna Media Hawaii, is the first in the state to do so. We've joined forces to be able to produce uh, a drone, aerial drone system to help benefit our community and, um, you know, our, our education, our, our film industry here to showcase how beautiful Hawaii is, as well as for, hopefully, government. The FAA defines a commercial drone operation as anything that is not strictly for hobby or recreational purposes. Once money gets into the equation or if you have liability insurance because of a commercial purpose, uh, that's where it comes in where uh, it's highly advisable to be able to get this exemption so that we can you know, all work together to have legal access um, and responsibility for drone use in the air so that we can continue to fly. Now the rules for drone hobbyists are similar to commercial operators, but no Section 333 exemption is required from the FAA. Recreational drone users must fly below 400 feet while keeping the drone within a visual line of sight and remain clear of manned aircraft operations. The FAA also says don't fly drones within five miles of an airport and don't fly near people or stadiums. A drone cannot weigh more than 55 pounds and don't be careless or reckless with your unmanned aircraft. So it's the size of the drone as well as usage um, that is a concern. The larger the, the aerial platform, um, the higher probability or hazard in the sky. Anna Media and Levanui LLC will conduct its first FAA approved commercial drone flights this weekend. The FAA says an, any uncertified use of a commercial drone can result in warning notices, letters of correction, and civil penalties. Andrew Pereira, KITV 4 News.